Hey team, today I'm gonna show you where the SkyDO drone excels at and where it doesn't by trying to conduct some reconnaissance of an area out here in the field coming up. Hey team, welcome back to the channel, man. As always, I'm stoked to see you. Today we're gonna be conducting a reconnaissance, or at least attempting to, uh, with my drone. My drone is a SkyDO2. Uh, I've had it now for a while. You've seen me using it in the woods. Its autonomous features are outstanding. And I uh, had, a, had a great question from y'all as far as could we use this thing to actually get, go out and conduct some dismounted reconnaissance. You know, could I use this to fly ahead of me to check out an area? So we're gonna kind of put this thing to the test. We're gonna look at, at the noise factor, like, like just to the, to the ear. Uh, how far away does something have to be before you can't hear it? And we're going to look at some range. Uh, this is going to be the first time I've really tested in this sort of capacity. I've done a lot of testing uh, walking through the woods uh, and using the beacon. But this will be the first time that we're going to test this thing uh, in this particular fashion. Man, that's what this channel is all about, right? Field craft with tactical virtue. If that's what you're into as well, man, you already know what to dadgum stinking do subscribe to the channel make sure you click the notification bell and have all your notifications set because uh, we all know how youtube uh plays so here we go uh right so the sky deal um it says it's going to have a range of, of two miles uh so we'll we'll see i'm gonna turn this thing off what are you doing i'm just gonna unplug the battery there real quick uh two miles and we're gonna be using uh the controller that it comes with and the phone uh, the phone doesn't come with the uh, with the sky deal. That'd be crazy. Uh, but I will be using my phone to control this thing. Cause it's going to help give us a little bit more range and hopefully a lot more accuracy, right? So we're in a in an area, um, right? In an area that uh, I've been in quite a few times, and I'll show you here on the map where we're at. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to move. So we're going to see if we can't move up and look at this lake. Uh, get a little reconnaissance around it, and then work our way back. Let's see, all set up. This is no way a commercial four sky deal. Uh, I do love the product, um, and I have absolutely no complaints. This thing turned on. Get it connected. One thing I do love about the Sky Dio is kind of a pain in the butt, uh, unless that's what you're looking for, uh, which is something that I was looking for, and that it's it does take a while to load up because it's not going to take off unless it knows where it's at right now, and that's kind of how I lost my last uh, DJI was it took off and it didn't know where home was. It thought home was like 15 miles away, so. As much of a pain as it can be for this to update its location before it takes off, I do kind of appreciate it. And just like that, we are already connected. Got 97% battery here. Uh, phone is charged. Camera's charged. Rigs. And we are ready to take off. Hundred feet, two hundred feet, three hundred feet, and we're at the height limit of four hundred feet. And I can still hear it, so you know that you have to be at least four hundred feet away. Get this thing. Looking in the right direction. I know I can kind of use the road and this open space as a gauge for where we're going to go. Oh, I think I can already see the light. And here we go. 400 feet can see it pretty easy. Let's 
see this road. It's in an 80 86% battery life right now. Not moving at turbo speed or anything. We're moving at 10 miles an hour. We're now 600 feet away at 400 feet up. This map. Should start to see it on the left. It's just a matter of this range and how well this is going to work out. You can see a little pixelated, right? Signal's weak. Twelve hundred feet signal lost. Sky Dio is returning to the launch point. So again, that's a good thing about the Sky Dio is it does recognize where we launched from. So it's going to work itself back here. You can still kind of hear it. 1,200 feet. Weak connection. Here getting louder. So you know she's coming back home. Like I want to mess with the controls, but I can't see it. And I still have nothing but a weak connection. This is a scary thing about flying a drone, right? So now I got a uh, connect control back. So I had this open area here uh, that we can see. And then larger open area. And then open area here. This connection is really sucking. So this is this is a bust. Connection lost again. Returning back home. And we got control again. So that large prairie is moving towards the um, area that we drove in from. This is another larger prairie. We've done some work through here before in the past. Let's see if we can scout out that area a little bit. We're at 400 feet up, uh, 800 feet away. Nine hundred feet away. Starting to lose connection, I think. Battery power is at sixty-one percent. What a bust! Uh, at least say that it's unreliable. I'm, I am going to try this again, maybe another time, and uh, we'll see just how well we can do and how well we can't do. Um, kind of disappointing. I'm going to drop her down a little bit. This thing in turbo mode now. 20 miles an hour.
Just drop down to 200 feet. Barely over the top of some of these trees. No, see, and 700 feet away and starting to lose it again. That's impressive, though. Super impressive. Like, this is where this thing excels at. Gosh, dang it. How is this even possible? So this is where the Sky Dio excels, okay? So I'm just gonna go straight. I'm gonna raise up a uh, little bit. And I'm gonna go straight forward. I don't know, can you see that? I don't know. Right? Like that is legit impressive. I'm a lower. And it is just, it is finding a way. Tell me that is not absolutely insane. Just holding her forward.
Let's bring her back. We got about 20% battery life. And again, just holding her straight back. Right, so overall, you know, I'm gonna call that a failure when it comes to actually conducting a reconnaissance. Like you have to be able to maintain, at least as far as, you know, consistency is concerned. I'm sure maybe on a different day, some different uh, conditions uh, would have had no issues flying out. You know, you can't brag about though, having a two mile, you know, radius if we can't get a two mile range uh, with the drone out, out here in real use. And I know a lot of other uh, drone manufacturers talk about a lot further range as well. So maybe it was just a bad day. Uh, who knows? I'll go back and do some updates and, and I'll try it again. If I get a, a big success, something different, then I'll share another video as far as that is concerned. Uh, but I will say, you know, that where this drone excels at is uh, having the autonomous features on it. You know, you have all of these dadgum cameras. I got one on the top, got one on the bottom. That's where we're recording from. And then I got two forward facing and then uh, the, the one or two towards the rear. Like this is two in the rear, right? Like this is absolutely a ridiculous uh, drone when it comes to being able to follow and avoid obstacles. Like that is where this thing is at. So I'm sure there's gonna be some other drones out there that are gonna perform better for conducting the reconnaissance, but the Sky Deal is not, uh, also certainly not lightweight uh, and it is not compact. So there, here's, you know, it doesn't fold up at all. Um, and then when we go ahead and look at what we have in the case, you know, this is not the most lightweight thing uh, out there in the world. So it's fine for putting in a vehicle. And it would be all right, I guess, for a, a, a reconnaissance in a permissive environment. But if it's, if it's non-permissive, man, this is, not, this is at least not the drone that you're going to want to use. Hey, team, I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. That way we can continue to keep this conversation rolling. As always, man, I appreciate all you guys. Until then, you stay out there and you stay stoked. Come on, Riggs.